brain. It is passion, instinct, and the will to survive. I understand. Like you said, no man... And so you return. And it is my duty to offer it. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. And we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. I see. Where is this virus now? Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the get, there's nothing stopping them from starting the purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the pride in. We can do it. We can win this! All right, Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rough child enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, You've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Hurry it up! Ep I'm... I'm sure you'll understand that there's far too much... You're reporting to se... Oh? Have you learned something? Vault 87? Where you found the Gek? We've never been able to penetrate the radiation surrounding that area. This information is invaluable! Well done! My child... Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation. 
during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. It's to be done right now. I have no time for chatting. Yeah? What do you... Yes, Commander. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3... Are you ready now? We okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity. But we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! Liberty Pride is online. All systems nominal. Weapons hot. The destruction of many and all Chinese communists.
how you like me now.
can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. I beg you, Hitler. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. I am sworn to protect the presidency. The chain of command must be upheld. I wouldn't expect you to understand. And your point? I see. And what of the chain of command? When the Enclave fell on the west coast, Eden was next in line for leadership. Yes. You're right. I had not considered it from that viewpoint. But then, where does that leave me? Such arrogant. If that's your wish, so be it. Take some small comfort in knowing you'll have little time to regret the decision. My sympathies go out. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, 
was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I am going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And, once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. 
So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave Force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Please be careful. I am vigilant. Very well. I stand by your side. Yes, yeah, let's hit it! Oh yes, let's. Yes, sir. We're all. Another glorious day in this man's army. 